I know a lot of you have enjoyed this little bit of cool air that we have had in North Texas uh, the past few days, but unfortunately, it's not going to stick around. We will be warming up as we get later into this week. Right now, we're in the mid-50s across the area, 53 Waxahachie, 55 Cleburne, 56 Corsicana, 55 in Hillsboro. Something to note about Waxahachie, that's coming from Midway Airport up here between Waxahachie and Midlothian, and it was noted to me that it's kind of in a lower-lying area, that particular thermometer, so it reads a little bit cooler. So in Waxahachie, we're probably closer to 55, 56 degrees, but where we get those readings, it is reading around 53, 54 degrees right now. Forecast highs today, we're going to be in the mid-60s as we go through the day. Uh, 65, Waxahachie, Cleburne, of course, Canada, 66 there in Hillsboro. And then overnight lows will be cool again tonight. We're right around 50 degrees, just under that across the area. And the dry air that is prevailing across North Texas is going to allow us to have warmer days, but much cooler evenings. And I know everybody's frustrated going between the air conditioning and the heat, but unfortunately that's part of fall in Texas, at least kind of this intermittent period where we have cool nights and then warmer days, and then we have periods of cooler air followed by warm-ups that we uh, like the one we will see this week. High pressure is prevailing across North Texas, another high pressure area off to the west, and all of this is going to contribute to warming up this week. Today is the last cool day we're going to have for a little while. This is the upper level water vapor here. You can see the dry air across Texas, really is across southern Texas. Well, what we're going to see is winds are going to start coming out of the west and then the southwest here. And anytime those winds come out of the southwest, we warm up quickly. So dry air plus warm southwest winds, we're going to warm up pretty fast across our area. Here's the forecast, 65 today, light west winds, not a whole lot of wind today. So Generally, we're just going to stay fairly cool. It'll be pretty pleasant in the sunshine, obviously, but uh, we do warm up very quickly. We're in the low 80s for Thursday. Winds pick up out of the west, really the west-southwest there. But you notice there's a 30-degree difference between the uh, high of 82 and the low of 52. Big difference, but that's going to be part of having that dry air here, and there's, you know, no clouds to hold in that daytime heating. And so as we go into the rest of the week, though, that's pretty much going to be our story, though the lows won't be quite this cool as we start to get that southwest flow in. You can see here Friday, we're in the mid-80s, west winds continue, and then the southerly winds start to take uh, hold here. So that really should be south-southwest winds, uh, 15 to 25 miles per hour on Saturday. It's going to be a very windy day, mid-80s, overnight lows in the upper 50s. And then we've got rain coming in associated with a little bit of a cool down, so 86 degrees on Sunday with a 20% chance of showers Overnight, beginning to Monday, we're looking at a 50% chance with a high right around 80, 78, 79, 80 degrees for the afternoon. Some of that may depend on how much cloud cover and how much rain we're actually getting. Overnight lows, though, get warmer, but the daytime gets cooler, and that's because we're going to have more cloud cover to hold in that daytime heating. But the days won't warm up much. Tuesday, a 20% chance of showers. Looks like that might be kind of on the lingering backside of the next system that's coming in, and we will have highs in the mid-70s. So we are warming up very quickly this week, but we're going to have an opportunity to cool down and hopefully get some decent rain into North Texas by the beginning of next week.